Hi guys. So, um, as you can see, I haven't had any makeup on yet. Cause, uh, this is a really easy look, so I decided to do two of them. Uh, to do both of your eyes in this video. And Suji Fuzomi it was um, a former member of um, the top idol, uh, national idol group, idol group of the Japan, Morning Musume. She was part of the fourth generation. And um, she also, after graduating from that group, she be, uh, she was in a group for a little while with her, um, uh, her fellow member, uh, Kago Ai, before they disbanded in 2006. And then after that, she later is now, she's now pre uh, married to um, Ult uh, the guy who plays Ultraman, I think. And they have, she has a baby girl, and she's, I think she's, right now she's 21. So... Yeah, she has her own fashion line and everything. But anyway, her look hasn't changed throughout the years. It has gotten more, um, it, at one point it got really straight on, um, Garu, Garu. Like, she was very gal looking, I guess you could say. Like, she, at one point she was t completely gal. She was a complete gal. But now she's more toned down. She's back to her normal cutesy Mickey Mouse kind of look, where she has, like, she always used to wear, like, really big, um, ribbons uh bows and she's back to that again so um i'll show you her she has a really simple eye look and it's very popular um other people that wear it um if you know another former member of morning musume um what's her name <laughs> uh yaguchi marie also does it and a lot of people in japan do it where they just on the bottom line they either they line it with um white eyeliner or they do it with white eyeshadow. My white eyeliner is not sharpened, and I don't feel like sharpening it. So, I'll do it with I with white eyeshadow. But you could do a white eyeliner um, if you wanted. My white eyeliner, if you're wondering, is by uh, NYC. I don't think you can see it. Yes, right there, NYC. And it's the white eyeliner. It's, I love their eyeliners. They're so cheap and they're humongous. Like they will last you forever. You will never run out of these. Like, oh my god, I love them. Anyway, so, it's really simple. You don't even need eyeshadow for this. It's really simple. All you have to do is, it's pretty much just the lining. If you want, you can use liquid liner, and I'm only use liquid liner for this, because it's mainly a liquid liner thing. Uh, what is it? I'm going to use my telescopic, um, Royal Telescopic with the felt tip. I do have a linear intense, Laura linear intense, but I have it in brush tip so whatever I'm gonna use the, this one hmm. either one of those two is great for if you're beginning so if you don't know already when you line your eyes you want to do small strokes this is really easy to use I think um Versus the linear intense that everyone says is easy. But, I mean, that's really up to you. The thing with linear uh, liquid eyeliner, it's if you mess up, it's hard to cover it up. Which is horrible. Because it happens if you do mess up, huh? Yeah, that was a bad flip thing. <laughs> that was a bad flick, but no, that's a bad wing. Don't mind me. So that's that. And then I'm going to do the other eye. And that's pretty much what it is. And the other eye, I will use the linear intense. Just so you can get a view of both of them. And um, if you want to look at the brush tip of this, it's just really thick. And it's a smaller tip. But it's really pointed. I think it's really easy to use this one. But I will show you how to use linear intense too. I don't have any of the felt tip. But I think it does the same thing as the brush tip. So, whatever, <laughs> whatever. So here it is. Here's my linear intense. Actually, it is a big difference because the um the felt tip one is a lot longer. But here I'm going. Oh, here's the brush, by the way. Here's the brush tip. It's not that great. You can see it. Yeah, it's not that great. Uh, I should have got the felt tip of this, but I was kind of scared. It's so hard to use brush tip. I got it because, um, 
if you're ever if you're gonna begin starting using lip good liner, I, I swear like you have to get like the felt tips of any eyeliner the uh, liquid eyeliner that you try to that you wanna buy. It doesn't matter you don't have to use like luminar intense or anything. I I'm like messing my eye up. Okay. D ignore that weird thing right there. And I feel like I can get it off so it's all concluding out like this, so it's all good. This is going to annoy me. But it's not there. Well, that is not there. It's a lot harder to use this one, which is why I don't use it. <laughs> but I, I can still use it, it just takes a longer time. I don't really use liquid lining just because I don't use it. It would be smart to use it though, because liquid lining doesn't really smudge. Okay, under that, I'm going to use a eyeliner brush to iron with white eyeshadow. And it's pretty much like this. So what you do is, it's just pretty much lining the bottom. And I just line the full bottom and everything. It's easy as that. Easy as one, two, three. I have a little black eyeliner left over from when I took off my makeup from the previous video. So, like that. Oh, the wine. But, I mean, you get the idea. And you don't have to do a flick in your um, liquid lighting. I just tend to. Because it's, you know. I don't know. I just do. I think it like makes your eyes look happier. It doesn't look like it's pouting or you know going down. Okay, I don't like this eyeliner officially because it's so can't mess up with this eyeliner. But that's pretty much what they do. So um, yeah. Tips. Uh, so this is pretty much what it is. Really good. So. Um, thank you for watching and watch out for my next video. Bye!